Well, grab your heavy coat and your favorite hat. Winter is getting a tight grip on the Chicago area. Yes, we are feeling it. Meteorologist Steve Baskerville is here to tell us about the deep freeze headed our way. Steve. Erica, Rob, it's like we jumped right in the middle of winter. It's going to feel that way over the next several days. We're going to have episodes of cold followed by snow, followed by cold again. And right now we're in a little bit of an in-between, although it's, you can feel it getting colder each hour, especially since the sun has gone down. Weather watchers all over we're telling you it's in the 20s and uh, any relief by the lake uh, Patrice says no Brr, from the West Loop and we can take a look at the icy picture that looks like one of those January pictures where you see all the clouds hovering out over the city so it really is going to be cloudy but snow free today we could have some flurries tomorrow here's a 25 degree reading that's uh, to the west in Sheridan where Donna is and not as windy there gusts at only eight miles an hour but there's a wind chill of 20 a lot of sun and blue sky today we did have a nice break of uh, sun Sunshine in many places uh, earlier today. Let's move on and talk about uh, the right now story. 27 degrees at Midway, officially 24 if you live near O'Hare. In Aurora, it is 24 degrees. And overnight tonight, that's going to be one of the places that will eventually get down into the upper teens. And uh, that, with any kind of wind speed, is going to give you single digit wind chills. Three more days where the wind chills are going to be in the single digits. I mentioned snow. That looks like later in the day, Saturday, through Sunday, almost like it was last week, because the track is different with this storm, but uh, it's enough, at least right now, it looks like it will give us several inches of snow by the time it's all over. So uh, we don't know if you have to get the snow thrower out just yet, but I'd be ready again this weekend. We'll know more about this as it wears on. And I mentioned another episode of cold. The next shot of cold air is going to be colder than what we're dealing with now. Another surge of Arctic air about the middle or the end of next week with single digit temperature for highs and the wind chills below zero. So it really will be extremely cold, dangerously cold, potentially next week. And look at all this snow. This is before the weekend lake effect snow. And there are warnings and alerts up on the other side of the lake around Michigan for lots of snow that could fall there between tonight and Friday afternoon. There's a winter storm warning in effect all over the western shores of Michigan and winter weather advisories in effect as well. So that's if you're traveling through Michigan over the next couple of days and to the west of us, winter storm watch with part of that weather system to uh, the west out toward the Rockies and you can see it's just beginning to move on shore with wet weather. So we got a couple days to prepare for that Saturday night uh, snowstorm. So mostly cloudy, cold, we'll call it 18 for the overnight low tomorrow. Don't be surprised if we do have some flurries flying in this frigid weather and single digit wind chills tonight, tomorrow, and Friday. Snow accumulating over the weekend. Two-day break and then single-digit numbers for mm. highs oh. on Wednesday. We're talking below zero wind chill factors around the middle of next week. Oh, it's hard to look at that Wednesday. Welcome Can to I say thanks for nothing? <laughs> yes. Thanks for nothing. I've been hearing that a lot. Okay. Today, I appreciate it. <laughs>